Indians will build on their love for gold this year as pent up demand heralds a period of robust sales. This was the main finding in the World Gold Council's recent report, The Drivers of Indian Gold Demand. The report stated that imports remain strong and retail demand was expected to pick up when pandemic restrictions were lifted across the country. Data from the previous year illustrates this point. India spent a record $55.7 billion on gold imports in 2021, buying more than double the previous year's tonnage. The 2021 gold import bill also surpassed the previous high of $53.9 billion in 2011. Gold's price drop favoured retail buyers and there was strong pent-up demand for weddings in October last year. Rising incomes are one of the biggest single drivers of long-term gold demand. This suggests that as India's economy grows, demand for gold should increase, the report stated. However, a fall in employment numbers, particularly salaried employment, and a poor consumer sentiment index could seriously affect the sale of the yellow metal in India. This is at a time when the Omicron variant of COVID infection is rising across the country. Nevertheless, India's strong gold consumption in 2021 and the expectation that its price may recover to 55,000 rupees per 10 grams from near 49,665 rupees now amid pandemic woes, inflation worries and a stronger US dollar could definitely cause a strong uptake in the demand for gold this year in India. Recent data also suggests that since the pandemic-induced slowdown, the demand for gold is on the rise in India. In 2020, gold demand stood at 450 tons. But in the first nine months of 2021, India's gold consumption stood at 360 tons, driven mostly by demand for jewellery. The end-year forecast for gold consumption in 2021 was 600 tons, according to the World Gold Council. It is worth noting that several Indian households view gold as an important investment, treating it as a hedge against inflation. It's an investment that cuts across the entire socio-economic spectrum and is commonly used as a bride's dowry in Indian marriages. So, the pandemic and all its related uncertainties could actually accentuate the demand for gold in India. A lot more will be known in the wedding season that starts January 15 across India. We spoke to Sudhish Nambiat, head of India Gold Policy Centre at IIM Ahmedabad, to understand what the demand for the yellow metal will be like in 2022. So, uh, if you had to look at uh, 2021, one of the main drivers, there, there's been a good study actually done on that front, wherein you see, uh, historically, whenever Indian equity markets have performed really well, and the same years, the Indian gold demand has been exceptionally good. Uh, and we have seen what's been the kind of performance for the equity markets uh, in 2021. Uh, a reason why we had a solid imports that's happened, the record imports that happened last year. And there's something that could continue into 22 as well. So 22, uh, what, it does, what it means is the sentiment. It's basically a sentiment that drives the market. So sentiment that's uh, driven from the uh, urban, uh, uh, urban investors and also uh, how the ag agri demand plays out because of that. So uh, both were kind of positive for last year, for 2021 20, calendar year, I mean to say. And 22, uh, 22 again, the forecast as such remains uh, really positive for the equities. Uh, they're still really bullish on the, uh, at least on the Indian equities front. Uh, and we expect the same to continue, but uh, we, might, we might not have under record here, but uh, demand should be, uh, the mm, demand should be around 600 to 700 tons uh, for the domestic market. Uh, something that should be holding on to. And what will be the trends in gold that the industry and retail investors should keep an eye on? Just before we started this conversation, uh, a circular was released by, by jewelers where are being allowed to import directly through the International Bullion Exchange. So this is one of the massive development that's happened since 1997 for the Indian gold market, where the jewelers are given a direct access to the uh, to importing, uh, just cutting off the intermediaries in between, intermediaries uh, like banks or any of the nominated agencies. So, uh, so they have two ways to access the market. One, they can go through the banks for the nominated agencies and the uh, and 
the uh, DFT account and nominate agency and nominate plan. Otherwise, directly access to the exchange. So that's one big development. So how that plays out is something that we need to watch for. Uh, looking for further clarification through circulars from the uh, International Bullion Exchange and the IFSCA. So the second part is for the uh, retail retail investors. So for the retail investors, uh, how the um, uh, is there going to be a cut in the duty? Uh, this is something uh, much debated over the last three months at least. Uh, for the reason that we had some really big uh, uh, unofficial numbers, uh, and uh, and cutting the duty is also uh, very much in within the framework of what I'll say, like, uh, getting the trade through official route. So um, and making it more, in, getting it more in the formal channel. So if that happens, if there's a cut in the duty, there will be uh, there will be a lot of enthusiasm within the retail investors to by even if it draws by three percentage that will be a lot more incentive for them to get to the market and buy whenever indian equity markets do well the demand for gold picks up as well we should expect a year of robust growth in demand however it might not turn out to be a record year a lot will depend on the severity of the omicron variant and whether we again witness the cycle of lockdowns and curfews If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.